I'm going to tell you something that will make you guys dangerous, and this is important, is that I want everybody to shift their perception in the room. And I know that you guys, some of you are behind, some of you are ahead. Who's behind on target from where you want to be? Raise your hand. The worst thing you could do is feel that perception that you're behind and let it pull you down. Let's go. I need you to understand how superhuman people are made and how greatness is created. It's not by starting out a month amazing and just killing it all month. What it comes from is being behind and being able to come back. And I want to tell you, one of the skills that I've been able to have in my life is the ability to alter my state. And no matter what's going on, I always find the good in what's going on. And I use that as fuel to take me to where I want to go. I want to tell every one of you right now, if you're behind, you're probably thinking inside, I'm behind. And that is not how you want to think. And I mean, in a negative way. When I'm behind and my back's against a wall, well, guess what happens? I become dangerous. But when I'm behind and I'm thinking I'm behind, what do I do? I go down in the ground. Anybody ever been through some crap in life and something really bad? Yes or no? Yes. And I, and I mean it. Where could you be? And you know where you guys are? You guys are with each other. To me, an individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. I told you guys this on the very first meeting and nobody understands it. The reason why we all get together is because iron sharpens iron. You get around other people that understand what you're going through and then you figure out how to get through those things and kill it and crush it. Guys, this isn't about making money. And by the way, money is important. I know money's important. I know if you don't make enough money on your check, you can't pay your bills. I know that. I know if you don't make enough money on your check, you can't get ahead in life and pay things off and be out of debt. I know that. I know there's no money to save. There's no vacations for kids. I, I know that. But no, also, do you know what I know? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. I know how easy money is to make when you guys will come together as a team. You know what I know? I know how, how easy money is to make when you take an underdog and wake them up. Okay? Guys, listen, I'm telling you in my life, I've worked around the wrong people. Anybody worked around the wrong people before? Anybody in the room? I'm trying to tell you, I've worked around the wrong people and I'm, I'm, I'm a product of those that I'm around. I am a product of the, if I'm around bad people, I'll be bad. If I'm around good people, I'll do good. You guys all have each other. I want to ask every one of you, are you a leader that can lead the rest of the team for more? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Are you doing that? My guy in the front with the clipboard, right? And then in the, in the black hat, what's your name? Tim. Tim, how old are you? I'm 20. How old? 21. 21. You got kids or is it just you? Just just marry anybody or is it just you? Me. Tim, you're a big guy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah no, I mean, but you're a big dude, right? So like, but you're also a young guy. And at 21 years old, I bet no one counts on you as being the leader because you're young. But Tim, they could probably be furthest from being wrong because you are a leader. And Tim, what I'm asking you to do today is could you set the standard, set the tone and set the pace of what winning looks like and do more today for yourself because it, that's, that's the great stuff in life, but also to show Stephen that all these meetings that he's had with you and all this time that he's invested in you, that dude, you're freaking worth it and you are a leader. And for all the people around you that are doubting themselves, right, Tim, like somebody's doubting themselves. What happens when you show up? They believe it's possible for them too. Am I right? Okay. Guys, you don't have to go to a church to change people's lives. You don't have to. You don't, you don't have to. You can do it right there in that damn room. I want to tell every single one of you, and I mean this, that you guys, 
need to hold each other accountable and you guys need to tell each other how to think. And every single one of you, you need to start reaching for more together. Notice I keep saying together. I find my identity in my team, Stephen. You know what that means? I love my team. I don't ever want to be without my team. If I got a manager that works for me and he's not doing his job, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to punch him in the face. He is, he is my guy. He is not supposed to sit out. He's supposed to fight with me. We go to war together, guys. All of us. All the other dealerships are sitting around right now and they watch you guys kick butt the first half of the month. Am I right? What do you think it did? Discouraged them or pissed them off to go get more? Pissed them off. You guys have already proved the first half of the month that you guys can do whatever you want. You guys can catch fire. And when you guys work as a team, you guys annihilate everybody. But when you guys do that and you guys elevate, you guys inspire other people to go get more too. You guys understand that, right? And that's the beautiful part about having a winning team is that when you guys come up, now those other dealers are like, hey, you know what? Dude, they're freaking waking up. We got to wake up now. You guys need to understand this. Everybody, be where your feet are. Okay, what does that mean, Stephen? We're going to play a game for the next three days. I want you guys to test yourself, which I love to be tested. Every one of you, you want to go home? At the end of the day, when it's time to go home, you'll be home. And when you're at home, I don't want you to think about work. Not even for a second. I want you to turn it off. While you're at work today, I want every, every, every single person to focus on being at work. And by the way, what does work mean? Tim, what does work mean? Activity. Right, Tim? Activity. Working. Tim, I'm going to ask you a question. Are you a workhorse? Can you work hard? Yes or no? Okay. Dude, listen to me. Lead everybody around. The guy in the back in the blue shirt and the blue hat, right in the back. Yeah, what's your name? My name is uh, Vincent. Vincent, are, are you a leader? Yes, sir, I am. Vincent, can you help me lead everybody and help when we get out of this meeting? Can you help work harder than you've ever worked while you're at work? And then when you leave work, stop working. And just be present when you're at work and when you leave work. I'm going to give you the success. I'm going to give you the tips to be more successful than anyone else you've ever met in your entire life. Where you are, be there. Stephen, when we're at the gym, we don't think about work. We're, we don't think about your family. I don't want you to. I want you to think about where you're at, which is in the gym. I want you to think about you working out your own personal health. But then the minute you walk out of that gym, I don't want you to think about the gym anymore. I want you to think about your family when you're at home with your family. Then when you're at work, I want you to be at work, which nobody does anymore. Can everybody agree in this room that people's minds run crazy so nobody's really where they are anymore? Am I right? Yes or no? Can you guys practice on mastering one thing, actually two things? And by the way, I'm going to show you how we're going to pull this out. Steven, it's not a word track. Steven, it's not even teaching them how to make a phone call. Now, that's skill that can add to all of this. But really what it is, it's that it's Steven. How late is everybody going to work tonight? Can everybody in this room give everything you got until 7 o'clock tonight and not think about your family? Not, and by the way, so he said not think about my family. Dude, your wife wants you to go think about work while you're at work. Okay, trust me, if you think about work when you're at work, she'll be happy you went to work because your work payoff will be high. Okay, I want us to think about work while we're at work. And then tonight at seven o'clock, Stephen, seven o'clock, anybody that doesn't have a car deal at seven o'clock, they can turn that switch off and they can go home. And I don't want them to think about work at all. Stephen, do you know why a lot of people don't attack and they don't give everything? I'm going to give you a secret, and I'm going to tell you what successful people don't teach us. They say, yeah, well, just be consumed. Be obsessed. I am obsessed. But do you know what I know? Cash, I know absence makes the heart grow fonder. I know when my wife goes out of town for three days and she comes home, 
I know I show her more love than when she was in town every day for some weird reason. Am I right, guys? Did everybody agree? When you guys are away from something, do you show it more when you get it again? Yes. You know what I want you guys to do? I want you guys for these next three days, the time that you're going to be at work, I want everybody to shut everything off in your, in your life. All of it. I want you to shut off any problem. I want you to shut off thinking about your family. Your family wants you to be with your family when you get home. Cash, you got a family? Yes, my wife and three kids. Yeah, your wife and three kids. When you get home at night and you've been at work all day long and then you go home thinking about work, do you think that's fair to them? You know what I think your wife and kids want you to do? I think you, they, they want you to go home and turn it off and spend some time with them so they can they can get dad. And then you know what I think? I think the next morning your wife wants you to get your ass to work and go make some money and then not think about her and then come back home that night and take care of them. Does that make sense? Does everybody see the problem with the world? You see it, Stephen? Everybody yeah. is 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 somewhere else when they're there. And what I think is happening in your company, and I'm not there, but I'm going to speak from my own mistakes, okay? Because I have a lot of them. Every, every time that I have found myself not reaching a level that I need to go to, what I found is that my mind is somewhere else other than where I am. And what I found <clears throat> is that when I'm actually trying to do something, I'm actually not trying to do it at all because my mind is somewhere else. And then when I'm there, I'm here, and I'm here, I'm there. So I just want you guys to do me a favor. If you guys are coachable, which I know all of you are, I want us to live by two rules these next three days. Number one, we are going to live by the principle that an individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. We are going to work collectively in leadership as a team, and we are going to hold each other accountable to think about nothing these next three days while we are at work. And I want you guys to look at each other and I want you to prove to the person next to you that you are going to give more than you've ever given. But then when you walk out of the dealership, I want you to shut it off. One of my biggest mistakes in life was not turning it off. And I know I've been taught by social media, never turn it off. I sleep with my shoes on. Every time I did that, I wasn't more productive the next day. You know what happened? Matter of fact, my mind was racing all night long and the next day I was actually slower. That's what I want. Steven, I don't know when the last time that everybody gave all they got all day long, but you remember those days, don't you? You remember how special that was on the showroom floor that day. Well, guess what? You're about to get three days of them back to back. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to end the call. Number one, this isn't about sales training. This is about a good attitude. This is about raising the damn standards. This is about playing as a team. Steven, this is about the 10 foot rule. Someone walks in, right? They're not my client, but they're yours, Steven. I'm gonna walk by and go, hey guys, how you doing? So glad you guys are here, man. It means everything to us. And I'm gonna walk off. And they're gonna be like, gosh, man, everybody's so nice around here. We are going to create a bubble around when someone walks in we're going to create a bubble that this is the place and only the place to be. Can everybody help us do that? Yes or no? Yes. Will it take everyone to do their part? Yes or no? Yes. Stephen, my recommendation. Let's, let, let's raise our hands and see who's cool with us. Who thinks we should take all the chairs out of the manager's office and put them on the showroom floor so nobody can sit down all day long? Raise your hand. Yes. Okay, good. Stephen. When we're done with the meeting for the next three days, I want you to take the chairs and I just want you to take them and put them out on the showroom floor. No chairs. We can pull credit standing up. We can pencil deal standing up. We can talk to people standing up. We're going to stand on our feet for these next three days. Salespeople and managers. And we're not going to ask, hey, what do we got going on today? We're going to know what we got going on today because we're all going to be involved in what we got going on today. And when one person pulls in, we're going to freaking shut it down. And when 10 people pull in, we're all going to close 10 people. And when the phone rings, we're going to answer the phone like it's the last phone call we're ever going to get in our life. And I want you guys to remember something that won this call. That everybody in this world wants what you guys want. 
who wants it the most. That's it. So where's my introvert in the room? Grab him, Stephen. Where are they at? Yeah, let's say let's say Zach. Zach, get up here. Come here, Zach. You're gonna finish the call. Come on, Zach. Zach, so here's how this goes. You're gonna say, who wants it better than we do? And you're gonna yell it and scream it. And they're gonna say, nobody. And we're gonna do it four times, Zach. You hear me? Yes, sir. You're right here, Zach. Zach, let's make it rain, buddy. Show us that you're the leader and you're ready to cut the leash. Who wants it better than we do? Nobody. Zach, hold on. Look around the room. Who didn't get fired up with you? Go ahead, point him out. Tell us that you didn't, dude, you didn't get fired up with me. Call him out. Call him out. Call him out, Zach. Who is it? All right, now listen to me. Everybody's woke up now and then we're in the call. Zach, three times. Who wants it better than we do? I want you to lock eyes with everybody in the room. And by the way, this momentum is carrying until seven o'clock tonight. This is the new way we live. You're going to, Zach, you're starting the meeting tomorrow, same way. And then the meeting on Sunday, same way. Okay. Yeah. All right, Zach, let's do it three times. Let's go. Who wants it better than we do? No way. Good job, guys. All right. Hey, guys, go kill it. Destroy your competition. At the end of Sunday night, I want everybody in the area to see your numbers, and I want them to be pissed. And then I want you guys to sleep like babies every night knowing you gave it all you got. Okay? All right. Let's go, guys. Love you guys. Let's go to war. See ya. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.